Uh, let me let me put the next question to you. In fact, now that we have you on stage, which is to do with uh, the feedback that you're picking up from all the companies that you speak to about the quality of economic recovery that we're seeing. We're heading into the festive season. We're in the middle of the festive season, coming on the back of the pandemic. Uh, what is it that you're picking up from all the India Inc. companies that you're speaking to about how fast we are recovering and the quality of this recovery? Yeah. So we just had uh, the CI National Council a few days back and spoke to a number of CEOs. I think the feedback is that overall things are positive. The feedback from the CEOs are they expecting growth at 8.5 to 9.5 percent. Uh, CI's own position is 9.5 percent growth. Uh, there are issues related to rising input costs, issues related to containers, availability of containers, etc. Private sector investment is picking up, but not as much as uh, everyone would have expected. But generally, the uh, survey told us uh, that people are expecting uh, better numbers than two years back, both in terms of revenues and profitability. Some sectors like the high contact sectors, the hospitality, tourism, they're still struggling a bit. But I think uh, they're expecting that the second half of the year should be better. So overall, it's a positive narrative which is uh, coming through. Some concerns on input costs, some concerns on inflation. Uh, MSME sector is struggling a bit and the services sector a bit more. Yeah. And, and not that you're uh, involved with uh, the Air India purchase directly, but uh, the fact that Air India is coming back to the house of Tata's is something which, uh, how, how do you as one of the top faces of the Tata group at this moment, uh, look at this big news that's just been put out? I think it's been a matter of great pride for everyone uh, within the group, outside the group. I think the feedback we've got from multiple people has been one of great pride and joy. And looking forward to uh, keep the Air India flag flying high. Yeah. You know, and there are many people sitting here wondering what are they smoking and what is it that they... Is this an emotional call in some senses? That this is something that you just wanted for various issues of legacy, history... Uh, to get done and then dekhi jaogi. we'll figure out how to make it happen, but right now let's go out and get it. You know, like, like you said, I'm not directly involved in that uh, uh, acquisition, but I think as a group, we've uh, grown up hearing a lot of stories about how JRD used to run Air India, and I think uh, it was an example of uh, pursuit of excellence. And uh, if we had a world-class airline, one of the global best many years back, why not now? Also, one of the big thrusts of the government is um, asset monetization. And it's central to the government's plans of financing a lot of what it wants to get done. Why don't you give us your thoughts uh, as the minister comes in on the manner in which this is being approached at the moment and the kind of outcomes you believe are likely? <laughs> you know, I think it's a very good step because uh, it helps you monetize or unlock value from assets without having to lose the ownership of assets. So I think uh, it's a great way of driving more efficiency into the system and for private sector, great opportunities to unlock value from assets which have already been created. So private sector welcomes it. I think it's a great idea and uh, the way the government is driving it.